hi guys um welcome back to my channel all right as i've said to you guys that um i'm going to do a part two of this video on how to actually apply for for this csir bursary so we're gonna go to that advert um as just like in the previous video and then so we're gonna scroll down scrolling down 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 until we reach the, the provider to make an application click on this link so we are going to click on here click on the link and then so it's going to take us to this page over here and then we are going to say um for example if they say how to apply how to apply for the bursary just that okay let me just click on here how to apply for the bursary and then now they're going to give you those basic information that we've discussed already and you can see that there are options here apply now or continue application so already if you had um started the application so you can continue or check your application so we're going to say apply now and then so there's going to be a declaration here we're going to tick i hereby declare that i'm enrolled or planned to enroll as a full-time student i hereby declare that i will not receive any other funding for my studies you click on that one and then you confirm and then so now you must accept the terms and conditions um and when if you decline you won't go through <laughs> so yeah so you must accept them and then thank you for accepting and then continue to apply right so 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 as you, if you can check here um personal information select the scholarship you're applying for so you, it's with the csir bursary and then so they're going to give you the information this is what is required for grade 12 learners currently a student this is what they need you must be enrolled um full-time towards the degrees of university unemployed student starting full-time bsc engineering bsc honors and btech and msc how did you hear from us um social media and then personal information so here you're going to write your personal information and age and all those things your address and place of birth so there are actually like four steps that you need to complete um so so it's not much of a difficult um application so uh, once you are done with populating the information that is needed here you're going to click save and continue then you're going to move to the next um steps and then until you complete the application so it's not that difficult that's the the, the easier part of completing this application so you can move on to the second step third step and also the fourth step so all the best guys in your application and then i hope that um you are going to to get this um buzzer so don't forget to subscribe to my channel let's make it grow let's grow together all the best talk to you on the next video